single white female entered Wayne's world to meet the player with basic instinct, who she thought was the gladiator who had a connection to the mistress of Chaplin, who loved a few good men one party at a time to prove that her husband was cheating. Now, he was a super cop, and he got word of her plan just so happened to be the night that Candyman would strike the hand that rocks the cradle. So he called for Batman's return back at the party to help assist with the army of darkness that would soon appear. How was she to know her sister act would take her from listening to Beethoven to dodging rapid fire from every direction? When he leaped to her rescue, she couldn't believe the distance he closed, thinking that white man can't jump was a funny joke she told at a barbecue, which now she questions when he said, honey, I blew up a kid one night after work, if he really meant it. Because if so, she's concerned who she let into her home, into her heart, because she wanted to start a family, all that kid and play shit, but now it's like he's a stranger. All he could think about was getting her back home alone to lay in bed and watch Aladdin as they prepare for the next step, but he saw that life fading. Once they were free from a path Malcolm X'd on his map, he seen it in her face how she would rather be away from him, so he set her free in the dreams of a child who would yell, stop or my mom will shoot if they try anything in ill attention erased from his mind after that night they separated and he lived like dracula in the night with nowhere to call home but one day he ran into her on the street belly wide with a glowing smile she gasped as they made eye contact and in her hand the mighty duck spill out of the bag yet it was another who helped her continue to walk up the stairs and when she looked back it was like he was never there